Welcome back my fellow radiation nerds! Today we're taking a closer look at the SE International Radiation Alert Ranger and whether it is any good. If you enjoy this content, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming uploads. Thanks, and now back to the video. The company SE International had its origin in 1979, and its first major success came with the Monitor 4 radiation meter. While it was a simple device, it was reliable, and it paved the way for the development of future products. Today, SE International produces a wide range of professional radiation detection equipment that is being used by nuclear labs and agencies all around the world. The first time I came across SE International products was through Tom's YouTube channel called Antiproton. In his videos, he often used their inspector meter, which sparked my interest in their products. And today, I'm extremely excited to have SE International team supporting my channel by providing me with their radiation alert ranger. This being said, they don't get to preview the video, and they even ask me not to shy away from any criticism I might have. With that out of the way, let's get started. The S International Radiation Alert Ranger is a handheld radiation detector designed for professionally use in both lab and in field conditions. The meter features a pancake style LND7317 Geiger Müller tube, which is arguably one of the best Geiger Müller tubes available on the market. It can detect alpha, beta, gamma, and even X-ray radiation and has an amazing sensitivity, making it a great choice for detecting low-activity samples or contamination. The measuring range is from 0 to 350,000 counts per minute or just over 1 mSv an hour if you're using gamma dose rates. Compared to my other meters, it is a little bit on the lower side, but it should still be more than enough for most use cases. Depending on your preference, there's also a version of the meter with an external probe, and while I do generally prefer the design, I decided to go for an internal tube version as it's more portable and easier to use single-handedly, which is important for me especially when I'm trying to film videos and I'm already holding the camera with one hand. It really depends on your personal preference and use case. S International also produces a slightly more budget version of this meter, which is called the Radiation Alert Monitor 200. It uses a smaller LND712 Giga Miller tube, but honestly, I would recommend going for the full-size pancake version, as its sensitivity is far superior and definitely worth the extra price. There's also the Radiation Monitor 1000 EC, but it is a gamma-only device, which would be less suitable for amateur and everyday use. The device comes by default with a nice carrying pouch, a wrist tie, a stand, and a rubber case. SE International also offers an optional swipe test kit, which can be pretty handy for different tests and experiments, but that really depends on your use case. The meter feels rock solid, especially with the rubber case on, although it is definitely on the bigger and heavier side, as it weighs 330 grams and is similar in size to my Polaron Pripyat. The unit uses a large LCD display, which is very easy to read even in a direct sunlight. And there's even a backlight option, which is great for when using it in a dark environment, such as caves, mines, or at night. Furthermore, all radiation detection events are signaled by a loud and clear clicking sound, as well as a flashing LED, which is very nice to have. Powered by two AA batteries, the Ranger can operate for an approximate 800 hours of use, or in other words, over a month without turning it off, which is a fantastic result. The meter also has a customizable alarm and can conduct a total count over a specified period of time, which is a feature I have been using a lot recently when testing mushrooms from my local grocery shop for radioactive contamination. Stay tuned for that. The meter has a micro USB port for connecting to a computer via Observer USB software, which unfortunately only works on Windows computers. This is a bit of a bummer as the software gives you extra customization options that are not found in the menu settings on the device. Same really goes for the Bluetooth phone app, which can be only used on Android devices. Also, if you want the Bluetooth connectivity, make sure to ask for it when ordering the meter, as it doesn't come by default. I forgot about it and my meter arrived without the Bluetooth module installed, but since I'm an Apple user, I guess I'm not missing out on much here. So what makes the Radiation Alert Ranger a premium Kaiga counter? Probably what I like the most about this meter is how sensitive and responsive it is to sudden changes in detected activity. This allows for taking measurements much more quickly, without the need to expose yourself for extended periods of time. Another great feature is that there is a range of built-in efficiencies for different radioactive isotopes, which include carbon-14, phosphor-32, sulfur-35, 
Strontium Atrium 90, Iodine 131, Cesium 137, Cobalt 60, and a general alpha setting. This allows the meter to show accurate readings for those isotopes in becquerels or in DPM. Keep in mind that for this feature to work, a proper geometry of the source and the correct distance from the detector must be kept. Unfortunately, I don't have any calibrated sources like the ones from Spectrum Techniques, so I couldn't really test out this feature, but when I get one, I'll definitely be posting a follow-up. Gagamuller tubes can oversaturate if the activity is too high. This can lead to a situation in which the meter shows very low readings, creating a false sense of safety and security. Luckily, the Ranger doesn't suffer from this issue, and in the event the tube gets oversaturated, the meter will display over range to inform the user of very high activity beyond its measuring capabilities. This is a fantastic feature, which I think should be a standard across all radiation detection instruments. To find out how the Ranger performs, I tested it against a wide range of radioactive sources, which hopefully should show its response time and sensitivity to all types of radiation. All tests have been conducted with the plastic cap removed. Uranium glass can often be found in antique shops or flea markets. While a UV light can be used to identify it, some other types of glass like manganese glass might look and react to UV light in a similar way, making it more tricky to distinguish it from actual uranium glass. I find that the best way is to use a Geiger counter, but often the low radiation levels coming from uranium glass are hard to detect. Luckily, the Ranger's LND7317 Geiger Miller tube is very sensitive, and it has absolutely no problem in picking up radiation even for my very low activity uranium glass items. This lutetium coin contains 0.22 grams of radioactive lutetium 176, which results in approximate activity of 432 becquerels. It is a very low activity sample, but detectable with more sensitive meters like the Ranger which measures around 160 counts per minute above background radiation. Alright, now for something a bit more unique. This is a sample of carbon-14 with an activity of 50 microcuries, or 1.85 megapecarols. Although it is a pretty hot source, it emits a very low energy beta particles, which cannot be easily detected by most Geiger counters. The Ranger, however, is more than capable of detecting such low energy radiation, and it went into overload as soon as I brought it near the source. Lastly, I tested the swipe test kit to check for radon surface contamination. For this test, I used one of the swipes to collect radon and its decay products from the inside of the mineral box, inside of which I keep a uranium ore sample. After placing the swipe on the tray and measuring it, I got a result of about 600 counts per minute. The ES International Radiation Alert Ranger is definitely a great meter, and I really enjoyed using it over the last couple of months but there's always a little bit of room for improvement. Firstly, the plastic cap does not provide any gamma compensation or even proper beta shielding, which results in the dose rate readings being highly inflated. I think it would be great if these caps would include some sort of filter that would provide gamma compensation for more accurate measurements. While on the topic of the plastic cap, I'm not the biggest fan of the design in general. I find myself often forgetting where I have left the cap and while a replacement isn't expensive, international shipping is. I think a slidable cover like on the MK's meter could have been a better design option. My next complaint would be about the maximum measuring range of 350,000 counts per minute, which isn't very high, and I managed to max it out on more than one occasion. For comparison, my Lulu Model 3 can go up to 500,000 counts per minute, which gives it a bit more headroom. I think it would be great if the range of the meter could be expanded ideally to about double its current limit. Let's talk about the averaging algorithm. It is pretty good, and it's definitely a massive improvement from what is found on many other meters, but I feel it could be just a bit faster and snappier. Meters like my MKS show the final measurements pretty much instantaneously, and that is the same performance I would like to see on the Ranger. SC International Radiation Alert Ranger is an extremely good meter, and I can't stress enough how nice it is to use professional instruments over budget alternatives. I do have a soft spot for my analog meters, but the Ranger has already become my standard go-to meter for everyday carry, alongside my RACID. I use my RACID for overall high gamma sensitivity and spectroscopy, while the Ranger covers measuring activity across all types of radiation. I would like to thank the amazing team over at SE International for providing me with the Radiation Alert Ranger and supporting the channel. If you're looking for a professional Giga counter, 
I can hands down recommend the SE International products. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. I want to hear from you. Have you used SE International products before? What was your experience? And are you considering getting one? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming uploads. Also feel free to check out my Patreon page where you can support the channel financially and get access to exclusive content. And remember, stay active.